All right, guys, this week's technique is uh, the X guard sweep straight from guard pull right into a clock choke. Um, the, I like to use this technique if I'm in a hurry. If I need to score two points right away and I feel like going for the takedown is too difficult. And then a clock choke is just a, a, a good good way to, to attack when the guy's turtling up and really defending and maybe not opening up to give you the hooks. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's technique. And um, I'm going to film it in two parts. So if you guys notice that I'm wearing two different geese, that's just how it is. I don't have a lot of time when I come here. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll try and grab a collar and I'll try and grab... Uh, a sleeve on one side, okay? So the side, uh, depending on which side you're gonna hit the X guard, that's gonna decide uh, which sleeve you grab. So if you're gonna hit the X guard here, I'm gonna have to hit the X guard, I'm gonna have to pull him this way and grab the X guard with my left hand. If I go here, I'm gonna go for the X guard with my right hand on his left leg. So we'll start with this, just so it's my comfortable side. So I'll go here. I'll try and shove the hand down like this, and he's, I'm going to try and dominate the inside here with my head. So I'm always going to try and dominate the inside here with my head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull as if I was going to pull straight into a half guard. So I'm going to pull like this. Okay? So again, from here, owning the inside, I'm going to pull like I was going to pull into a half guard. But you notice that it's not really a half guard, because look, I'm already in that kind of X guard position. So that's my goal. So get the sleeve, get the collar. I'm fighting here. I'm going to pull into that half guard. Boom, with my knee right next to his knee. And I'm going to underhook the leg right away. Now very quickly, I'm going to pull him, extend with my right knee, put my left foot. If we turn a little bit right here. Put my left foot on his knee. Then I'm going to kick up, post, and finish the X card. So, one more time. And I'm breaking it down. I'll show you guys in real time what it would look like. You try to the collar sleeve, owning the inside. Pull. Get my underhook, have my knee next to his knee. Put myself in position. I still have the grip. Extend, put my foot on his knee. Kick. Technical stand up. Pull. Finish the X card sweep. So again, get my grip, pull, get to X guard position. When I'm here, I want to cut the kneecap. I'm going to keep this grip. I'm going to use this to help myself adjust. My knee is going to point towards the inside, and I'm going to bring my hips out. You see how I'm flat? Then I go with my hips out. Foot goes on the hip from here. I kick, when I kick, I have to sit up and post on my left hand immediately. So I kick, sit up, post on my left hand immediately. Not on my elbow, my left hand. My right foot comes off onto the mat, then my left foot comes off. I'm up here, I pull him back in, and then I finish. The whole thing, broken it down again, I'm gonna break it down, then I'll do it in real time. So grab, grab. Pull, get into that next right position, underhook, extend, kick, post up on my hand, technical stand up, drag him and finish. Okay. One more time, but in real time. So the whole technique is supposed to be a quick technique. The whole thing should happen in one go. One more. Broking, I'm gonna break it down again. Pull, pull, underhook, cut the knee. So if we turn this way so they can see where I'm cutting. Cut the knee. My, the position of my body goes from here, so I still have the collar. Goes from here to here. Pull my foot on the hip. Kick. Post my hand on the mat immediately. Good posture. Technical stand up. Pull the guy in, finish. One more time, real time. Pull. Shoot. 
So I did the X guard and I got my partner into turtle position here. And the mo number one thing you need to do is always control the hip first before you start going to the seat belt. A lot of times people get to the turtle and they already go to the seat belt right away and this is where they end up getting kind of, um, what do you call it, like shaken off. So the guy starts to shake them off. So the most important thing is I control the hip first, boom, and for me what I like to do is I like to even drop the, the hip to the ground. And the way that I'll do this is, if you turn to the side here, I'll put my knee next to his, uh, his leg and I'll pull just to get that hip to touch the ground here. Boom. Then I can go to the seat belt without the chance of me getting thrown over. So I'm here, hip, controlling the hip, bump a little bit here, get the hip to the ground, and then go up to the seat belt. Now sometimes the guy's super good at defending the hook here. So I'm, if you turn this way, I'm having a hard time, yeah, from here, getting this hook, maybe he's doing a good job of defending it. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna attack the neck. So from here, I can't get the hook. Instead, I'm gonna go to the neck, boom, and get a nice deep grip here. And I'm gonna allow him to go back onto a turtle position. Boom. Now from here, my left hand, I can either stay here on the wrist, or what I used to like to do a lot in judo, was grab the pant. Now, the, the wrist is good because it's very easy to get, and it's easy to get him to kind of face plant by pulling the wrist forward. Then I can start walking here and finishing. Okay, but the thing about that is he can circle, so he can buy himself time by circling. So let's move back a little bit so they can see. So I get here, get here, I walk my left leg so that I'm sitting on top of his right shoulder, boom, like this, and then I start to walk in a circle. This is really tight too. The problem is Victor can circle with me. So as I'm going, Victor's circling with me. And so the choke's not getting any tighter. If the guy's tired and he accepts the position, then maybe you'll get the tap. But let's say that he still has a lot of energy left or he's tough. He's not somebody who's gonna take the submission. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna attack the pant. So I like to grab the pant grip. So if you turn to the side. I like to get a nice pant grip here, boom. Then I like to bring my elbow kind of in front of his thigh here. My elbow right here in front of his thigh. Now from here, I'm gonna sit out, sit my left leg out, boom. Then I'm gonna start walking. Now Victor tries to circle. He's not gonna be able to circle. So that's why I like the pant grip more than the wrist grip. The wrist grip is good, but if the guy's a really tough guy and he's not gonna, he's really fighting hard, you might not get it or it might take longer. So again, we're at the hip, boom. I don't wanna go straight over because if I go straight over here, he's gonna roll me over or whatever. I'm gonna go to the hip. I'm gonna make that hip touch the ground. Boom. Then I'm gonna go up top. I'm gonna see now if I can get the hook. If I can't get the hook, I feed. You see how I get my left hand gives the lapel to the right hand, and I wanna make sure I go as tight as possible. Because whatever grip I have now, I'm not gonna be able to adjust. That's the grip I'm gonna work with. So as tight as I can. Then, a lot of times the guy's gonna go back to that turtle position. I'm gonna switch to the pant grip like so, grabbing the actual sleeve. Don't put your fingers inside, you'll get a penalty. Grab from the outside. I'm gonna bring my elbow over in front of his thigh, walk my hips out, and then I start to circle. So I get the So again, so let's actually start from that X guard position where I have the leg that we did, that I showed last time. So we're here, okay. We're here, I kick, boom. I get up here and I manage to drag him down. So I'm gonna go to the hip first, boom. Exactly, now I wanna use my knee to block so that his hip goes down to the ground, boom. Exactly, and then I go up to the seat belt. Now, the hand that's under the armpit is gonna feed the lapel to the hand that's across the neck. Okay, he's gonna go up to his knees, boom, just like that. My right hand is gonna grab the pant. Get a nice good grip on the pant, and then I'm gonna go in front of his elbow, his uh, thighs. So if you move this way, Victor, go in front of the thigh with my elbow. Boom. I'm gonna kick out. Then I'm gonna start walking until I get the tap. So one more time. Let's move a little bit from here so they get a bigger, not so close. Yeah. So I have the hip. Boom. 
I'm gonna make the hip touch the ground. Boom, block the knee, get him to sit, go up top. Feed. Yes, he's gonna go up here. Make sure that when you're here, this hand isn't stuck all the way here. If it's stuck all the way in here, he's gonna trap my arm and he's gonna roll me over. Exactly. So as soon as I feed, I wanna take that elbow out. So as soon as I feed, boom, I'm gonna take that elbow out and I can just kind of block the hip and control the hip a little bit. Now from here, I look for that pant grip, go in front of the elbow, kick out, and I start walking. That's it guys, thank you, Crush, uh, um, clock choke. Thanks man, it's, it sucks. <laughs>